Hey everyone, so today we'll be presenting to you our chosen story Madman Earth by Gan Kikuchi through a PowerPoint presentation because we were not able to do it because of the limited time. So first, let's welcome my partner, Dorlin Martorellas. Let's talk about first the short biography of the author. Hiroshi Kikuchi, born on December 26, 1888, died on March 6, 1948, known by his pen name, Kan Kikuchi, which uses the same kanji as his real name. He was a Japanese author born in Takamatsu, Kagawa Prefecture, Japan. He established the publishing company Bungi Shunju, the monthly magazine of the same name, the Japan Writers Association, and both the Akutagawa Anoki Prize for Popular Literature. He was also the head of the Ii Motion Picture Company, currently Kudakawa Pictures. He is known to have been an avid player of Mahjong. For the social context of the story, the story reflects the societal pressures and expectations prevalent during this era. The protagonist, the madman on the roof, serves as a symbolic figure challenging societal, societal norms. The narrative explores the themes of conformity, individuality, and the struggle to assert one's identity in a society undergoing significant transformations. For its historical context, post-World War II, Japan underwent a construction and modernization rival waiting traditional values for progressive ideologies. Economic Recovery, technological advancements, and Western influences reshaped society. Madman on the Roof reflects this, exploring tensions as tradition clashed with change, offering a glimpse into Japan's complexities during post war rebuilding. For the elements of the story, we have the characters. Katsushima Yoshitaru, the madman 24 years of age, Katsushima Sujiru, his brother, a 70-year-old high school student, Katsushima Bisuki, their father, Katsushima Oyushi, their mother, Tosako, their neighbor, Kichijiman servant, 20 years of age, Christus, about 50 years of age. Setting. The setting is in the year 1900s, in a small island, in the island sea. Next, the conflict. The conflict is both internal as Yushitaru grapples with his unique perception of the world and external as the family attempts to understand and address his peculiar tendencies. The clash between Yushitaru's nonconformity and the family's desire for societal acceptance forms the central conflict driving the narrative and shaping the characters' interactions. For its plot, we have the exposition. The stage is set in the backyard of the Katsushima, the wealthiest family on the island. A bamboo fence hides the main house, and the high roof stands out against the lush southern island summer sky. Yoshitaru, the elder son, is sitting on the roof, gazing at the sea. The family expresses concern about his habit of climbing to high places. For the rising action, I'm sorry for my voice. <coughs> Gisuki, Yoshitaru's father, and Kichiji try to bring Yoshitaru down from the half roof to prevent some stroke. They discuss his history of climbing and his seemingly uncontrollable, uncontrollable urge to ascend. The family grapples with his peculiar behavior, with Gisuki considering various reasons for Yushitaru's climbing tendencies. For the climax of the story, Tosaku introduces, introduces a priestess who claims to follow the god Kumperma and offers to pray for Yushitaru's well-being. The priestess goes into a trance, claiming to be the god Kuperma and instructs them to purify Yoshitaru with smoke from green fire needles. The family reluctantly follows the priestess' instructions, causing a confrontation with Tsujiru, Yoshitaru's younger brother, who denounces the priestess as a fraud. For its following action, Sujiro challenges a priestess, leading to a heated argument and physical altercation. 
the priests threatens punishment for this dis for their disbelief. Sujiro exposes her as a swindler, and she lives with the Saku. The family reflects on the situation as Sujiro reassures them that Yushitaru, despite his eccentricities, brings joy and is not a burden. For the resolution. After the priestess' departure, Yoshitaru slips away and climbs back onto the moon. Sujiro and the family find humor and acceptance in Yoshitaru's behavior. The sunset becomes a moment of shared beauty with Yoshitaru experiencing a vivid imaginative connection with the environment. Despite societal expectations and attempts to cure him, Yoshitaru's unique perspective and happiness in his own world become a source of understanding and acceptance for the family. For the theme, the general analysis, and for the questions will be discussed by my soft girl partner, Miss Claire. Thank you, Dorlin, for that wonderful discussion of the story Mad Men on the Roof. Now, it's time for us to delve into its theme general analysis, and please listen because I will have some questions later. So, let's go. Now, theme. In the year 1900s, in a small island in the island sea, the theme of the story revolves around societal norms, exceptions, and the complexity of individual happiness. Yushitaro's climbing behavior challenges conventional expectations, leading to conflicts with his family's attempts to conform him to societal standards. The theme explores the tension between societal norms and individuality, suggesting that happiness and fulfillment can be found in unconventional ways. Acceptance of diversity and embracing individual quirks become key elements in understanding and navigating the complexities of family dynamics. Now, additionally, the story touches on the limits of external interventions, highlighting the importance of embracing and finding joy in one's unique perspective on life. Now, let's go into the general analysis of Madman on the Roof. The story explores themes of family dynamics, societal expectations, and the complex nature of mental health. The narrative revolves around Yushitaro, a character who exhibits signs of mental illness, possibly schizophrenia, leading him to seek solace on the roof and engage in unconventional behaviors. On the other hand, the family struggle to understand and cope with Yushitaro's condition is evident. Gisuki, the father, seeks various solutions from cutting down trees to consulting a priestess who claims divine guidance. Now, this reflects the desperation and societal pressure to conform to norms, as Yushitaro's actions embarrass the family. The arrival of the priestess adds an element of spiritual and cultural conflict. The priestess claims to channel the god Kumpera and proposes a ritual to expel an evil spirit. However, skepticism arises, especially from Suvijero, Yushitaru's brother, who challenges traditional beliefs and exposes the priestess as a fraud. Now, the play highlights the tension between tradition and modernity. As Suvijero, educated and rational, clashes with the superstitions of his family, the rejection of the priestess methods, and the emphasis on practically uh, practicality and skepticism reflect a broader commentary on the evolving nature of beliefs in society. Now, Yushitaro's behavior, though seemingly traditional, becomes a source of happiness for him. 
challenging the motion of no normalcy and raising questions about the values of society places on conformity. Suijero's acceptance of his brother's unique perspective such as a more compassionate and understanding approach to mental health of the people. Now, the story's conclusion with Yushitaro's returning to the roof captures the cyclic nature of mental health struggles and the challenges of finding a lasting solution. The juxtaposition of Yushitaro's joy with the golden sunset against Suijiro's realization of the sorrow of sanity as a poignant touch, suggesting that sometimes unconventional perspectives offer their own form of beauty and contentment. Now, these are my questions, the basic question. Now, why does Gisuki express concern about Yushitaro sitting on the roof? Now, here's the answer. Gisuki is worried about Yushitaro getting a sunstroke as he sits on the hot slate roof without any protection like a hat. Now, for the interpretative question, here's my question. What does the climbing behavior of Yushitaro symbolize in this story? Here's the answer. Yushitaro's climbing symbolizes his desire for a unique perspective on life and an escape from societal norms. It represents his unconventional approach to understanding the world. And for the critical analysis question, how does Yushitara's experience of finding joy in climbing relate to the idea of embracing one's passions and individuality even if they don't conform to societal expectations? Now, here's the answer. Here's my own answer. Yushitaro's joy in the climbing reflects the importance of staying true to one's passions and individuality, even in the face of societal pressures. This resonates with the idea that finding happiness often involves embracing what makes us unique, even if it deviates from conventional norms. So... That's it. That's all about the Madman on the Roof by Ken Ken Kikuchi. I hope you learned something about, especially about mental health and how to deal with people who has this mental health problems. Bye bye. Merry Christmas and have fun. Happy New Year, ma'am.